Can bombs be a usable strategy? Let's find out. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, JKG Brandon. We are back playing Raid on the main account this time. Uh, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite characters in the entire game. Uh, the champion that made bombs relevant, finally. Uh, we are talking about none other than Gaius the Gleeful. And we'll hop in here and we'll just use mine as a reference. Uh, we'll go over the kit real quick. I'll go over my my uh, masteries and my stats uh, just to kind of let you know what we're looking at here. Um, I just went as far as the sets go. Uh, I have a fatal set and uh, two cruel sets. Literally just trying to get as much attack on him as I could <laughs> um, because we'll start out with this A2. This is the one that that uh, for me is is just just oh, chef's kiss. Uh, it's an AOE, 75% chance to drop asleep. It does book up to 100% as well. And then also chance to place two bomb debuffs that are going to last for two turns. Also books up to 100%. Now, once you have those bombs placed, you can come in with explosive wit. And the first hit is going to detonate all the bombs on that said enemy it's a one one you know one target skill now if you're going up against somebody like a skull crown with that natural unkillable or leorius or somebody that's got swift parry on that's going to proc the swift parry that's going to proc that unkillable come in with the second hit it's going to ignore that unkillable they're dead boom knock them over with the with a feather at that point uh, his a1 grants an extra turn if you kill that enemy no biggie. Uh, the passive is really cool. When he is attacked, he has a chance, 30% chance to place uh, a bomb debuff on the attacker uh, that is going to last for two turns. Um, if he does have bombs placed, uh, if anybody has bombs placed and he dies, he's going to instantly detonate all the bombs on the champion. So if you have another bomb champion, like a soul drinker or a war mother or astrolith, whoever it may be, right? If you have two bomb champions that are on the same team with him or any other bomb champion that's on the same team with him and you guys get a, a bunch of bombs up, if he does die, you build him real squishy, he's going to be squishy on your team. If he dies, he's going to detonate everything all at once. Boom, everybody's dead. He does have an attack aura for all battles of 25%, so you can actually put him in the lead and gain even more attack. Uh, Masteries. Uh, masteries. I actually took him down, try to get as much accuracy as I could, uh, ended up going with Eagle Eye on him to get <laughs> that additional 50% accuracy. I did start him out on the attack side of the offense tree to get that additional 75% damage as well, uh, which is not 75% damage. No, no JKG. <laughs> Seven, 75 attack, not percent. <laughs> I wish that was percent. Holy moly, that would be amazing. As far as uh, stats go on him, we'll just take a look at it here. Uh, I would prefer to get this up around minimum 300 accuracy if I could. Um, I was just testing out to see as high as I could go on the on the attack. So um, honestly, you don't have to get anywhere near. <laughs> you don't have to get this, this level of attack. I have 8,700 attack. I could probably... Push that higher. I would like to experiment to see if I can push that past that 9K mark. That would be kind of interesting, right? Uh, but in general, I would say somewhere around if you can get, you know, between six and seven thousand attack, along with 300 on your accuracy, so you can actually place those. You can bring in a supplemental champion to buff your accuracy. Uh, you can bring in a champion to buff your attack as well. So that's definitely going to help on both of those fronts because the bombs are not going to do any damage if they don't place. So that is one, one thing with his passive where he gets hit. He doesn't necessarily have to be a speed demon, uh, for your, for your arena team, uh, which is where he is going to be probably the most useful. Um, bombs are still kind of iffy here and there outside of arena um there are some places where he is useful as well like sand devil uh ironically his big aoe hit uh that puts two bombs up 
it does also put that sleep. So he does have a chance to be really, really effective there outside of that. But you can see 8,700 attack, 164 on the speed, really slow. And 223 on accuracy. I would love to get him more accuracy if I could. Not really worried about it at the moment, but we'll take him into arena just to kind of show you what he can do. And this is a really, this is a crazy team. I don't know if we're, <laughs> I don't know if we have the juice. That's just a lot of revives. So we'll just take them in here. We got Ultimate Death Knight, which is actually going to be interesting. They're probably going to be faster. I imagine their Arbiter is going to be faster than mine. Mine's probably not even wearing full gear, to be completely honest. Uh, we did cut in, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and drop our two <laughs> our two <laughs> skills here so you can kind of see with the, with the amount of attack that i have on him he does do a really good job of actually potentially like not even letting the bombs even have an effect um he is really really dope that way um you can kind of see with that a1 you, he has that septimus kind of machine gun flare to him as well where he can actually just keep taking turns potentially if he is you know killing that that particular enemy let's go ahead and take another look here we'll try to slow it down let's see if we can get a look at that a3 on him this time if we can we'll, we'll definitely see what we can do uh we got that counter attack came right back at us that was pretty cool so let's see here he's should be next all right they got the revive in on ronda cool cool remove all the buffs Ooh, and we we got to look at that passive where he kills everybody. That's a good one, right? So that's a good one. It instantly detonates everybody's bombs. That that is just a nice way to kind of just okay, yeah, go ahead and kill me, guys. We can definitely take a look at that. So that's pretty cool to see that in action in this in this little showcase that we're doing here. And let's see if we can get one more in here so we can take a look here at that explosive whip. We're gonna refresh here. Let's see, who do we want to go after? Who's a good one to go after? Ooh, we got a miscreated monster. Usually going to have a lot of HP here. Royal Huntsman, we're probably going to be in good shape against this one, but miscreated monster is definitely one that's going to have a ton of HP. You can see <laughs> with our accuracy, we got two, two, one, and we were able to do enough damage. Just straight up doing damage, which is always a good thing. So let's come in here. Explosive Wit, we have two uh, two bombs over here on Stagnite. Let's go ahead and one, two, boom, boom. You can see both of the bombs hit for 65K. And on top of that, we're doing, you know, 20, 30K in damage on top of that as well. So that was really cool uh, from him. I do think that guy is the gleeful outside of just looking really cool he is probably my favorite champion in the entire game at the moment uh, i love using him in arena just because he is just fun to use he makes bombs usable and not just usable actually fun to use uh, because you can do you can actually do things with him um so that's kind of the, the thing right there and then just the way i have him built you can kind of see when he hits that aoe that aoe hits hard um so there's a lot of times when we don't even get to the bomb detonation um, too. So that's really cool. And here's actually our cool one. Bombs go through stone skin. So when you run into a more to macabre like this, it's in stone skin or any other champion that's in stone skin, you can put those bombs on. It's really cool. Now, this particular team that we're going up against, they had a counter to that. They had a strip. That's, that's all well and good. That's fine. But it's really cool to, to know that you do have that option when you have a bomb champion that can place bombs. Uh, obviously, we would like to be a little bit quicker in general, all that kind of fun stuff. You know, make sure that we don't have to worry about it. We're probably going to lose this fight, uh, frankly, <laughs> because Mortu Macabre has taken a ton of hits. And if he takes a ton of hits, that means Peril's unlocked. And if Peril's unlocked, we're in trouble. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Oh, we got the we got the uh, nice lockdown from Lysandra as far as turn meter on him. So that's good. And then again with the cleanse. All right. So you can see if you have a cleanser, you know, when you're relying on debuffs uh, to do damage, 
you are at the mercy, right, of the other team. If they have a cleanser, you know, it's no big deal. I think Gaius could be a fun one, possibly in the live arena. I know it's it's not necessarily set up for AoE nukers and stuff like that, but he is a bit different, right? He's not the standard nuker, uh, like a Trunda or a Kandrophone or, or any of those guys. He does have the mechanic where he can take extra turns off of that A1 if he does do, a, you know, a single target kill. Uh, the A3 is a nice single target as well. He does give you that passive where he's going to place bombs and potentially detonate bombs when he gets killed and takes damage. So that's also another thing to think about as well. So I think he could be a sleeper champion for a live arena coming up. Uh, you know, we lost that fight. No big deal. I'm not worried about it. We're cruising in gold five. Uh, I'm not, you know, one of those people who's going to edit out the losses just to show off, you know, all the wins to make, try to make myself look good. We got a good glimpse of all the different things in his kit, right? We got to see the passive going through killing, you know, detonating bombs when he died. We got to see, you know, him use that A3, hit use the A2. We got to see him, you know, put some bombs in through stone skin just to, you know, if somebody didn't know that that was, if you're a brand new player and you didn't know that was a thing, just because, you know, you're, you're running up against stone skin. If you have a bomb champion, you can bring them in and you can actually put those on and stone skin actually is going to amplify the damage. So if they don't have a stripper, a debuff cleanser, you can actually do a ton of damage to stone skin. It's a nice counter to like a more to macabre in stone skin or any other champion that's going to be in stone skin. So that's definitely something to think about. If you're a newer player, it doesn't necessarily have to be guys to gleeful. Really any bomb champion is going to do work in that situation for you in that particular spot. However, I do love guys. He is my favorite bomb champion. Let me know any uh any other bomb champions that you guys like do you like astrala do you like war mother do you like uh those are the ones that i know of lord shazar uh there there's a i believe there's an a a rare that does some some bombs as well uh, i'll have to check that one out one of these days but uh let me know in the comments below if you use a, a bomb champion in any capacity uh also if you have a different you know a different champion you want me to take a look at show off you know show a realistic you know a more realistic view of a champion obviously this build for my guy is pushing you know pushing 9k attack is not exactly realistic i just thought it would be pretty fun to kind of show off uh something a little out of the ordinary uh that we don't see every day from from everybody so let me know down below in the comments what you think and as always if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you like what we do around here on the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss when i upload and i will see you in the next one peace